So about a month ago I rediscovered League of Legends, and that is to say, specifically, I re-downloaded a piece of trash and then promptly remembered why I left in the first place. I had a number of people ask me why I hate on LOL so much, and to that I say I don't hate LOL, or at least not that much. In fact, I hate at least six things way more than League of Legends. So here it is. This is six things I hate more than League of Legends. Okay, so for those that don't know, I'm actually really into fighting games and the fighting game community as well. I always catch up on EVO, I always look into the newest UMBC anime schoolgirl clone, and I always keep track of tech for my mains, but recently I moved into Street Fighter V and I must say, as a longtime fan of Mortal Kombat, the change has actually been really enjoyable except for one fucking thing. And I'm speaking specifically about that goddamn charge mechanic. For the uninitiated, a charge is when you have to hold a directional button or an action button for a certain amount of time and then snapping into the rest of the string to perform a unique special move, be it Nikali's The Disc's Guidance or Fang's Nishiki. In that way you are charging the button, or at least that's how I've defined it. At any rate, fucking why is that a thing? Like, I'm sure someone's going to say, well, Scout, if you stop being a Mortal Kombat scrub and get good, and honestly, made up individual, go fuck yourself, that's not how this works. The back and forward specials in MK are handled way better, and it's literally just a snap. You move one way and then the other, and now you're throwing a fucking spear at an opponent to displace them. Bam. Done. Fucking easy. Now this holding the button one way and pressing the opposite direction bullshit, aside from that, the game is actually really amazing and makes me yearn for competition again, so kudos for that Capcom, but really, eat a bag of baby dicks. Have you ever had that shit? No? Okay, I'm gonna paint a picture for you. So, imagine that the polyjuice potion from that stupid ass wizard movie is real, but it has a slightly better consistency, but only slightly. Now give this mental image the most atrocious, bearable taste. Like really, everything tastes like the discount version of what it's supposed to taste like. Vanilla? Discount vanilla that's been drowned in lukewarm water and baking soda. Chocolate? Like really heavily chocolate flavored shit. But it's still shit. Also, mixing it is a fucking pain without a blender, but if you're not adding other ingredients to it without a, with a blender, then you're a failure and your mom probably hates you to be honest. Powdered protein, go fuck yourself. I fell for this shit so fast, I couldn't help it. It was billed to me by a lot of people I knew as a sort of isometric Souls-like with an interesting dash mechanic, and well, it's not like fucking Dark Souls at all. Look, I get this is my cross to bear, I understand that it's my fault for getting hyped for a game that was funded by Kickstarter, but I swear to fuck this game was the biggest letdown of all time. Level design was 5 out of 10, art was 8 out of 10, and bosses were 7 out of 10, and the mechanical functions within the game were 6 out of 10. It wasn't hard, it didn't revolutionize or provide innovation to the budding genre of Souls-like, and the only thing that made the experience bearable was honestly the art. It's a fucking gorgeous game. I cannot argue that in any way. If you're looking to play a discount Dark Souls, fucking forget Hyperlight Drifter, fucking forget Salt and Sanctuary, and just wait with me and let's see what happens with Neo. I really, really cannot stand the fact that people have spent hundreds of dollars on cosmetic items. I'm clearly referencing CSGO in that instance, but scaling it back, I also can't fucking stand people who compulsively waste money to acquire something cosmetic such as hats. Like I can understand the desire to purchase individual weapons in something like TF2, because the Bizarre Bargain provides a wildly different gameplay experience from the Hitman's Heatmaker, but there's really no excuse for somebody wasting $225 on a CZ75 skin. And the thing is, these people with skin insanity, they often can be cited saying, oh it's much more cost efficient to just buy the skin you want. But where's the cutoff point? Are you really suggesting I spend $225 on a fucking skin for a fucking pistol in a fucking video game? Or are you suggesting that I gamble for that with one of the keys? 
Okay, folks, this one actually hits really close to home. I fucking grew up with this shit. I've been playing since I got that kick-ass Pokemon Red cartridge with that sweet fucking picture of Charizard on the front. I was watching until about the time the animated started including the fourth generation. The idea of being a Pokemon trainer was the fucking bomb, man. And now we have the chance to do something like that in some augmented reality shit? I dreamed of riding Firo, of chilling with Vulpix, and now you're telling me people are hating on a game that they literally can't even be a part of or see unless they choose to? Fuck you! And that bullshit. You assholes can't be happy even with a rainbow made of all the things you loved were flying out of everyone's assholes literally all the time. How dare you? How dare you judge and belittle my enjoyment because you don't understand what I enjoy. I don't talk shit on your shit ass American football. Don't talk shit on my fucking Pokemon or I will suplex your weak ass through the goddamn floor. I know, I know. I've already spoke about how much I dislike something in Street Fighter V before, but I really don't like the story in Street Fighter V. Well, Maybe not specifically a story, but the way it's presented, the way it conveys itself. There are bullshit fights sprinkled into an extremely disjointed story, like the actual reason things are happening are understandable. The order with which things happen and shown to us is so entirely horrible and makes little to no sense and does not give you any breathing room with which to try and understand. It's basically the worst collection of images to convey a message ever. But it's so goddamn fun. I know this is supposed to be a list of things that I hate more than League of Legends, the shittiest game in the world, but there's very few things better than watching Zangief block a sword with his fucking pecs. That's just so cool. Anyway, now you guys see that I totally hate some things more than League of Legends. Not much, because the LoL community is trash and the game itself tends to lend itself to a stale meta, and they consider itemization variety. And also, the actual champions themselves have become more complex to shorten the burnout people feel over that boring-ass game, but whatever. I'm fine. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like, comment, or subscribe. I'd appreciate that greatly. If rant videos are not your speed, I totally get that. I have a new series called Damn that I'd really, totally, absolutely, completely, really recommend if you're interested in more of my work. At any rate, I hope you guys have an excellent day. Thank you so much for watching, and peace.